years young men have left home in Ireland to seek fame and fortune in the United States. James Rowe, tell us a little bit about why you've shifted your focus in your racing career to the United States. Uh, basically, I've done British Formula Ford and Irish Formula Ford for the last year and at the end of last year I said to myself, what do I do? Do I go and do it again and focus on a, on a championship over there or do I maybe go up to the US and just weighing up the options. The last number of champions in British Formula Ford haven't really gone on to do further things so I said look I, I'll I'll be uh, I'll be the one who will make the move and I decided that I'd come over here and, and see what happens. You've had several weekends now to race in the United States how does it compare with your previous racing experiences? Back um, back in England the racing is a lot different over here you have to be a lot more subtle with your defensive moves and, and the, the racing isn't isn't as hard over in England it's it's very cutthroat as in there's, there's no passing or defensing or defensive rules so it's a uh, it's, it's winner takes all over there and coming over here I know it's a big difference initially that just e even from a defensive point of view when someone's racing against you you always have to think of this rule in your head that you can't make two or more moves um, or one or more moves sorry so it was a uh, that was the biggest thing to get used to yeah. How about the differences in the racetracks? Racetracks, I mean, the, obviously every racetrack goes is a new one now, but England has such a, a wide range of, of racetracks, you kind of just, <laughs> every time I get to a track, I, I just say to myself, look, I've been through all of these corners before, now it's just ones from different tracks together here, so um, yeah, there's nice tracks, Watkins Glen in particular was really, really nice, I, I loved it there. You've already had a chance to sample the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, tell us a little bit about your impressions of that iconic facility. That was a that was a special weekend. I mean, it was a it was a last minute opportunity that came up. I got a phone call and to to debut in US F2000 at, at Indianapolis was it was the ice on the cake. Um, and to make things even better, then we went down to get a top five finish there, which was great. And you know, it was just it was special. We were racing, supporting Indy cars in Indianapolis in the month of May. It was just all the boxes were being ticked, and uh, yeah, it, it was pretty special. It's a big facility. For sure, yeah, it's big. It's one of the biggest places I've ever been in, anyway, yeah. Racing is a family tradition with the Rose. Tell us a little bit about your Uncle Michael. Uh, yeah, Michael's like me. He raced in England in Formula Ford back in the 70s, 78, and um, then made a move over to the US, and he came over here and had a successful career, and Racing has always been a big part of the family. My dad done a small bit of racing back home, and it's just something that we're into. We, our, our business back home in Ireland is a, is a motor repair shop, so um, I'd say racing's in our blood. My granddad race, it, it's, it's, it's kind of, uh, you don't get much of an option in my house. <laughs> Did Michael give you any coaching? Does he uh, come, come to the races with you? Yeah, yeah, Michael, Michael's been a big supporter of mine. He, whole way in the first four years of racing he didn't miss one race and then when I came over here to the US he, he wasn't here for the first two races but he's here this weekend at BAR and he's a, he's, he's a big help every he's the first to ring after a race or a qualifying session and ask what's going on or even just little things he might suggest why don't you try this or try that and little hints that I can just tap into his experience and, and, and draw from um, which I find really beneficial. Are you going to any of the same tracks that he raced at? We are going. We were walking to them. I, I was there last month, and um, he won there, and then I won there. So that was pretty cool. And he raced in Indianapolis and Mid Ohio next. So yeah, there's, there's quite a few. Do you have goals for the 2018 season? Goals for the 2018 season is, it's it's just a. I'm using this year as a stepping stone into USF 2000, prepping myself as well as I can, get to know tracks and how, how people race in the US. Um, it's, it's quite different as I said so it's it's just a progression to make sure that I arrive next year in USF 2000 hit the ground running and not having to learn any of the simple stuff. Your racing experience has taken you all over the world are there things you miss about Ireland? Miss about Ireland? Uh, I mean you obviously miss the, the home the home comfort and uh, having all your friends and family around you but I love it over here in America it's uh, it's great and Nowadays, with, with all the technology, it's not like when Michael came over here, you can keep in contact with everyone very easy. So, um, yeah, no, I, I, I'm happy here. James, if not possible, go racing without a lot of support these days. Tell us the people who back your racing effort. Yeah, you're, you're dead right. You know, it's, there's a lot of people back home in Ireland who, who have been good to me. Um, and 
a, a number of people, especially Dennis and Traders, they're a trailer manufacturing company back in Ireland, the biggest importers in Ireland and the UK, and I'm fortunate enough to be part of Team Ireland. It's a foundation, or a, it's a, it's a basically a group of, of young drivers, three, three to four drivers that Motorsport Ireland, the governing body of Motorsport in Ireland, pick and try to guide us throughout, throughout our career and put us in the right place at the right time. And, and then family and, and friends, there's a lot of people back home, it's, 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 a, it's a big act, so only for them I wouldn't be here. And they all keep up with your racing efforts from far away? For sure, yeah, everyone's everyone's um, everyone's interested, so it's good. Good luck this weekend at Virginia International Raceway. Thank you.